In this tutorial, you will learn how to configure which branch you want to use for the Core Buddy Boss app when generating new release app and test app builds. This feature is designed for developers to provide you with early access to pre-release versions of the app and to provide access to our development branch, which includes hooks that have been requested by customers and have already been coded by our team but have not yet been merged into the core app code. Note that this feature is only available if you have purchased a plan that includes developer access. To get started, head over to Buddy Boss App Configure, and then we'll scroll down to the development section. And once you've updated to the latest version of Buddy Boss App plugin, if you've purchased developer access, you should see this new settings area for core app branches. From here, you can choose which branch of our core app code you want to use when generating new app builds for both your release app and test app builds. The default branch is production. This is the branch that is used in our official public releases. If your app is already live in the app stores, we strongly suggest that you always use production for your release app, as this is the only branch that has gone through our full testing process. And then we have two other branches you can choose from, pre-release and development. The pre-release branch includes all the latest stable changes that are not yet live. Anything you see in this branch is likely to be included in the next app release. But note that code in this branch has not yet gone through the final testing phase that is required before we publish a release, so it could contain bugs. So again, please do not use this branch on your release app if your app is already live to the public. And then you can also use our development branch. This branch has non-reviewed ongoing development work. The main purpose of this branch is to provide early access to code changes that have been requested by customers, and in particular, to hooks that have been requested by developers. If you are a developer and you've asked our support team to add a hook for you, it could take some time before that hook makes its way into an official release. We first have to write the hook, and then it has to go through code review and final testing, and then be included within our normal release cycle. But we know that you want access to it right away so you can continue with your development efforts. So now, with this update, our support team has the ability to merge that hook into this development branch for you as soon as it has been coded. And then you can just use this branch until the hook is publicly released. And of course, anytime you switch the branch that you want to build from, before you can preview that code in your app, you'll need to submit a new build request and then download the new app build to your device.